Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm not going to do too much of an intro. I'm just going to get right into this tutorial. So as you can see, I already did my brows off camera. I'm going to apply my Maybelline, my Maybelline Master Primer and just blend that in, rub that in, get it all in that skin or whatever. Then I'm going to go in with my Bobbi Brown Stick Foundation. I'm also looking for a new foundation, so in the comments down below, give me some ideas of some new foundations I could try. Then I'm going to go in with my Chai and Clove to contour and highlight my face. As y'all already know, my holy grails. <laughs> I'm just going to buff that all out. Then I'm going to bring it also um, into the eyelid so that I can use that for a, um, what am I trying to say? I can use that for a base for my eyeshadow. And yeah, just blending that on out. And a lot of this is fast forwarded too, but it's not too fast where you can't see exactly what I'm doing. So I just wanted this to be quick and easy, kind of, sort of. So now that we have that all done, I'm going to use um, some more on the my forehead and on the bridge of my nose. To create that contour effect and whatever's left I like to put on my chin. I don't like to put a lot on my chin because it leaves it white and it looks weird. So I just use whatever's left over. Then I'm going to go ahead and use um, clove to contour. And I just use a little bit of this because yeah. Clove goes a long way, y'all, and it's the perfect contour shade for me that I found. It's not too red, and it's not too ashy either. It's, like, perfect. I love it. Kylie did good with this, with these formulas. I will admit that. Just go ahead and blend. And I didn't contour my nose. I don't know why. Um, I did it off camera for whatever reason. So, yeah. I'm just going to set my under eye with the um, Makeup Revolution Banana Powder. I'm just going to put that all over that face where I applied my highlighted area so that it don't crease during the day. And also I'm going to set the eyelids so that I can apply the eyeshadow and it doesn't crease as well. Because you know I did put concealer there. It kind of already looks like my nose is already contoured but that's just because I bring the contour in on both sides and down the bridge of my nose. So it kind of creates a contour effect but not really. But it does. Then I'm just going to wipe that all away. Y'all know the routine, y'all know the drill. Then I'm going to go in with my Tarte um, palette and I'm just going to set that brown contour. I'm going to set my contour, sorry. where I put it and sometimes I only just put it there because my forehead don't got too much to contour you know what I'm saying <laughs> so then now we're going to go to the eyes and I'm going to use first I'm going to put um close the tab in the crease for my transition shade from the sipping pretty palette as you already know this is about to be like my go to palette I can do so many looks with this palette and I plan on it I just want to have fun with it. I want to really work with these pinks, but your girl don't know what to do. So 
So I'm just applying that in the crease and then I'm going to do that to the other eye. This look is going to be really, really soft glam because I want to use this bold, bold lip and, you know, can't be doing too much. Can't be looking crazy and whatnot. So then I'm going to go in with Mimosa and I'm going to add that kind of in the crease as well but more on the outer because like I said I wanted to do a little soft glam so not too bold for the eyes Actually, I'm going to take Lit and I'm going to put that in on the eyelid and that's going to be pretty much it for the lid. So now I'm going to take another brush and I'm just going to blend that together. Then I'm going to take that same color, close the tab that I put in the crease, and I'm just going to apply that to my bottom lash. And then just smoke that out with that same blending brush. Then I'm going to go ahead and set my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Spray, 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 y'all. You gotta set that face. Gotta set that face. So then I'm going to go ahead and put Champagne Showers in the tear duct of my eye and on the bridge of my bone. And I'm going to take that brush and just blend that together so there's no harsh lines. Then I'm going to apply that highlight to the face, honey. Yes, champagne showers coming through. <laughs> then I'm going to go ahead and use my Holy Grail. Y'all already know Club Hopper. And this is um, Rumor, y'all. This color is so beautiful, so pretty. It's like a burgundy brown color, burgundy, however you want to call it, burgundy brown, whatever. But it's, it's cute, and I like it. Y'all feeling this look? Then I'm going to go in with some mascara. That mascara is from Rimmel. That mascara is really good, y'all. Like, wonderfully real mascara with Karen Scene. Girl, yes, it's bomb. Then I'm going to go in with some Ardell Wispy Lashes. So, you guys, this concludes the final look. I just went ahead and added some bottom mascara to my eyes, and really, that was it. Um... So I decided to do this soft neutral look 
with this bold lip for my first fall makeup look because fall is coming really really soon i hope you guys enjoyed this look if you like this look be sure to give it a thumbs up comment down below some ideas that you would like me to do for some fall looks or videos in general also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are not already subscribed and if you are you're the real MVP. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.